Hi everyone and welcome. In this episode, we enjoy the calm before the storm as we decide where do we go from here. We hope our channel will inspire you through a lifestyle not long ago was only a dream. Please like, subscribe and hit that notifications bell. Namaste. And see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Balancing, what have you done? Oh, my back <laughs> What are they doing Ross? I think they only had about 20-30 metres of chain out And they've probably gone to more like 40 now And they've put a strop on Which is what I always do Do you think that's in preparation for the weather tomorrow? Yeah, it's going to be big wins tomorrow. Okay. You and I, we got it. We don't need no more. Even in the hard times, you and I can weather any storm. Good morning guys, hope you're all well. It is the next morning. You may or may not be able to hear the anchor coming up. We are ready to go. We are heading over to either the port, a nearby island. Yep, the anchor's definitely coming up. Or a anchorage, which we'll go stand to some rocks because we want to hide from some winds. We are also completely out of data. And obviously for coaching, I can't work without Wi-Fi or some kind of 4G. So we're going to hunt for a taverna or something where I can get some work done. And Ross can upload our latest YouTube video as well because that's due to come out today. In the meantime, I've been baking. So I'm gonna show you what I've made. It's a super quick, easy, high protein, nutritious, good on the go breakfast that you can create at any time. I will try and create the recipe in the description box below. So if anyone's interested in it, they can find it there. Probably put some peanut butter on the top of them. Bob's your uncle. Bernie's your aunt. Oh, amazing. Verdict. What do you reckon? Out of ten? Ten! Yeah, they, yeah, uh, thank you. Laura, yeah. do you want to come and have a look, see what you think of this first option? Over mine. Oh, okay, this is the island with the five tabernas. Yeah, I'm not sure if we can anchor here because it's supposed to be a mooring boy, so we'll go and check it out. There's a couple of boats out there, so that's always a good sign. I like the fact there's like four other boats here. I feel, I feel quite safe in the wind. It's now 25 to 10 and we're already here. And we're on a mooring boy, so we're super safe. But we can see some beautiful churches, some Wi-Fi cafes, restaurants. I think there's four on the island. 
I can't remember the name of it, so hopefully Ross won't say the name of the island here. Uh, um, yeah, we're here, we're done, we're safe, and we are now set up for the winds, and hopefully we're gonna get on the Wi-Fi, because I've got some work to do. Nearly 10 now, I'm just about to have my oats. Ross is putting a second line, I think, on the mooring boy or somewhere near it. Beyond the ghost, we stand on the opposite shore. Hello, Mona. I reach through mysterious ceilings. There's people nearby, they know I'm vlogging, it's very embarrassing. But um, it's quite typical of Ross to um, double do everything when it comes to safety, which is really lovely actually when you've got obviously your kids on board and um, your home is a boat. If anything happened to it, we'd be homeless. <laughs> but he is so careful with absolutely everything. Double checks, double knots, double whatever you need to do um, wherever you are. And um, yeah really helps you to just feel relaxed wherever you are and whatever conditions you're in. He doesn't mess about this one. Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last Alright, you happy now? Yeah, we've got one brand new rope Yeah Attached by a big shackle to about a ton of concrete so. Well, not just that mooring boy And we've also got that one as well the, the mooring buoy, the, the line looks all right, but there's a lot of shells and crustaceans sort of eating away at the rope. Mm. There's quite a few joints. I just like one rope, one shackle. Yeah. We don't want to say the Nancy situation, do we? <laughs> the only Those poor guys, they really went for it. The only mooring buoy I've ever tied to um, was an Ibiza, and it snapped. We made a bit of a run for it this morning, so we were going to go over to the port all around the corner we ended up here and there looks like there's plenty of wi-fi cafes well it's not wi-fi cafes there's plenty of restaurants it's really sleepy if the wind picks up we're really secure and there's a nice little beach that runs the whole way along here for the boys to go and play on <laughs> this is gonna chuck him off the end he's not having it yeah he's being kind <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll take you for a little wander about and show you all the things that this lovely restaurant has to offer. So, as you can see, very comfy chairs. We've got little children's play area over here. So handy and very cute. Nice for the kids to be able to get out of the sun. Lovely trees loads of flowers everywhere it's very beautiful and then this incredible tree which is growing right in the middle of the restaurant pretty awesome huh i love those flowers over there amazing colors and down over here they have their own private pier at the moment josh is down here he was playing with these boys over here and now he's hopped on someone's paddleboard. Typical Josh. He makes friends everywhere. Very confident with people. And then there's Holly in the background over there. Daddy's playing with Noah. It's going to be windy for the next couple of days. So we'll probably be here, I think, for two or three days. Noah's borrowed a boat. Only it's like downside, is it? There's still no Wi Fi. So I don't think any of these restaurants have Wi-Fi. So that's kind of put a stop to the work today. But actually, I'm kind of glad because although I can't get in touch with my clients, um, I do have their phone numbers. And I think it's really good for you to take a break from social media every now and then. So there's been no Instagram, no Facebook, no YouTube, um, no upload, unfortunately, which was the main reason why we needed Wi-Fi. So upload days change tomorrow. True to form, 
everything happens late with us. <laughs> Josh is playing ball with the boys over there. So lovely to see them playing with other children. So we might not have Wi-Fi. But we do have this. Absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm very impressed with this. Worthwhile. So you got yeah. homemade Greek potato wedges, salsa. This is my special Thai corn burger recipe, which I will put in the description box below. It is delicious. They've got desiccated coconut in that and some amazing flavors. Roasted garlic, homemade coleslaw, homemade guacamole. Boys got burnt beans because they love them. What do you reckon, Noah? Uh, yeah. Amazing. I love roast um, wedges. Greek potatoes are the best, aren't they? Uh, yeah. You know it's desperate times when Ross gets the manual out. Down here, these two are watching Deep Impact. And playing, and playing cards at the same time, multitasking. Morning, Noah. Good morning. Morning! And I am just about to get ready to do a workout. That's all there, ready to go on deck. Last night was the first night where I've ever done yoga on deck and thought I was actually gonna get blown off. But he shouldn't really be there right now. Noah, can you come back here please? So I'm looking a bit windswept at the moment because quite frankly, I'm being swept up by the wind. We're all being swept up by the wind. So at the moment we're in a weather system which looks like it's going to be hanging around for about 10 days where in the mornings we've got about 14 or 15 knots and then in the afternoons it's in the late 20s which means that it's probably not safe for us to sail in the afternoon but we can sail in the mornings and we're feeling a bit stuck it well i'm feeling a bit stuck on maffy because although it's beautiful there's no walking there's no shops we can't fill up the water um and it's not really safe enough to swim in the I've got some clothes on because no one's cold. Good boy. It's actually cold as well. Um, we can't swim either because the current is quite strong near the beach because of the wind. It's creating a surface current. So I'm not really too confident with the boys swimming in the sea. And you, do you like Maffy? Oh. It's all right, isn't it? You like the restaurant that we went to, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Yeah, it's lovely there. We can probably do it for another couple of days. What, anyone want to give a thumbs up to that? Give us a thumbs up, please. Yeah. Give us a thumbs up. <laughs> pa! Wind's dropped. Thanks, Mother Nature. Just in time for my workout. That's awesome. Don't need music in my ears anymore. I don't wear my earbuds because I get to listen to the jingle jangle of goats every morning and just really take in the environment. I don't know why I didn't do that before really. There's a boat. Someone's out there sailing. They're not afraid. <laughs> what do you call a pig that does karate? I don't know. What do you call a pig that does karate? A pork chop. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> don't do it, Noah. Don't jump. Annie's got a puncture. We're just waiting for Daddy to pump her up before we can get to shore in this. Here we go, here we go. That's where it gets fun. I love Mummy so much. You really what? I love Mummy so much. I feel like I've been
So what's the plan, Stan? <laughs> we can stay here. No. We can um, sail to Patmos tomorrow morning. And the if we left at nine o'clock, we'll get the lightest winds, which will be 20 knots. What? With, That's the lightest winds? With one metre waves oh for just an hour and a half. And we'll be oh, there. It'll be a quick gross. ride. Yeah. Or we can sail east in 15 knots of wind, which is perfect. Fine. Three quarter metre waves and the journey is three hours. And That's where do we end up? Uh, I think it's called Agathonisi. Is it safe there? It's Dolphin Island. And it looks quite nice. But is it, what's there? Dolphins. Is that it? Some beaches. What about walking? There's lads. What about shopping? I don't know about shops. It sounds a bit remote at the moment. But it's a stepping stone to Samos, which is on the north of that. Don't know. It's a, it's a tough call. What about if we just stay here another day and then... I think Samos would be quite nice to go to. What it's if we just... Art, it's a yeah, island. but Patmos was always... I'm excited about Patmos. There's so much history there. There's a lot of land stuff and, and there's a lot of sea stuff. It's got a bit of everything. And the lady at the bar that I spoke to said that it's, it's absolutely windy, yeah. incredible. Okay, how about you show me some pictures? <laughs> Sell it to you. Sell it to me. Okay, let's go to bed then. Okay. All right, we'll go there. Go where? <laughs> I never remember the names of anywhere. <laughs> I can't remember. Right, I'm so we're going to. I've been photos of it for the last hour. We're going to Agathonisi. Agathonisi. We're going there. <laughs> and you have me at walking. Yeah. We'll there's, go there. there's walking to do there. There's a shop. There's under 200 inhabitants. There's two villages. And there's some amazing beaches. And apparently, there's not a lot to do other than walking. So. And you're guaranteed to see dolphins. Ah, yeah, so we'll hopefully show you some dolphins. Yeah, good call, Captain. Say you'll stay till the morning.